Hey guys, I know I haven't done makeup. I haven't put up videos um, for last Sunday and this Tuesday. Just was very tired. If you guys follow me on my Snapchat, you know that I did do a Snapchat video on Sunday of how I lay my um, shaved sides. I've been really busy with school and um, I know that Thanksgiving is coming up so I'm trying to get all of my schoolwork out of the way so that when I go on um, Thanksgiving break I don't have to deal with school so I asked you guys um, if you guys aren't aware I do put little cards up here um, so you guys can take polls to tell me what story times you want to see or what videos y'all you guys want to see next um, I will be doing that a lot often so make sure that you do check up here for the polls so I can you know give you guys the story times or the makeup videos or whatever you guys want to see I do got, want you guys to interact with me a lot more way I was gonna have a giveaway but y'all don't interact with me I mean, y'all might watch the video or whatever, but y'all don't interact with me enough. So I'm going to need for some more interaction to be going on in order for me to have a giveaway, you know, because I don't want just like, you know, 10 people to interact with me. 20,500 20, subscribers, something around that number. And um, I'm going to need for all y'all or most y'all to take y'all butts over to my Instagram and my Snapchat and I need y'all to interact with me a lot more because it makes no sense for me to have a giveaway for only 10 people you know what I'm saying I need y'all to interact like I hate to be bossy but so on to the story so you guys wanted to hear about when I was kicked out when I was 17 Shit, I'm on, yeah. How we feel? Be waking up in paradise. Uh. if you guys don't know by right now I am 24 like a squirrel I really don't have any communication with my mother whatsoever I haven't really talked to her make sure you check the polls like I said if you guys want to hear the whole background story as to why I don't speak to my mother anymore karma's a bitch so I have this thing if you aren't family you probably wouldn't know but I love sushi really daddy sushi is my favorite favorite food Ever. If you guys didn't see the movie um, Catwoman with um, Holly Berry and she had that big old platter of sushi and she was just eating it, eating it, eating it, I wish, I wish a man would take me out on a date like that. I would love him forever. Like seriously. He gotta be good looking though. I'm sorry. Mm. For my 17th birthday, I wanted to go to Taki and I had like this really, really cute hairstyle. I was wearing like the swoop. The swoop thing was going on and you layer you layer your hair in a certain way so it looks like it got like little onion rings. I had on this yellow shirt. Um, I looked like Tweety Bird. I really did because the shirt had little frillies on. I was gonna wear some, this is when gotcha pants were out too. I was gonna wear some gotcha jeans. They were long but they, they flared out and I was gonna wear um, my yellow, my yellow little high heels with that. And my mom was just like, hey, you're not wearing it. And I was like, yeah. why? She's like, because they don't even look right. They don't even go together. But it's my birthday. I'm not dressed to where you can see any skin or anything because I was fully clothed. So what's the problem? Those heels don't even go with those pants. Really, nigga? I changed into these, um, this is when G Unit, Apple Bottom, Carry On, all those pants, um, cool, cool G, that's when all those pants had came out and they were at C Trends. I had done, I got these G Unit pants, they were sparkly and they were skinny jeans. They were actually skinny jeans, they were sparkly silver skinny jeans with a silver uh, glittery G on the back. Anyway, I wore those and she was like, yeah, that's better. So anyway, I went, we went to Taki. I was already upset. I was already pissed off because my mom had, um, you know. But my mom had this friend that used to live next door to us and she printed out some um, hard uh, invitations for me because I was into koi fish back then. I'm still into koi fish, but I was really into koi fish back then and I had like a card that had a koi fish a beautiful colorful orange and blue koi fish and on the invitation it said you're invited to such and such be here at such and such time I passed them out to about 20 friends none of my friends showed up 
because they all had stuff to do. This is how you know you ain't got no friends. Oh, like, it's okay, whatever. No one's gonna come. It's just gonna be me and family. That's fine. I don't have no problem with that. You know, so on top of none of my friends showing up, on top of my mama telling me I can't wear my favorite outfit, like, stuff's not turning out well. Now, when it comes to my dad's side of the family, my aunts, my great aunts, my grandparents, they all give me money. They still give me money till this day. We're all sitting around the table. If you get, like, it was hibachi because they were gonna come and cook in front of some people. I was eating sushi, you know, so I didn't eat hibachi, so they didn't have to cook that in front of me. My mom was obviously still in love with my father, even though they had done been got done broken done. My father wouldn't stun her. Like, he was just like, mm. My father was my mom's first love. So she was trying to act all sexy and cute in front of him and stuff like this. It wasn't working. My mama came in there. My mama was thick. So she had done went somewhere with one of her friends and she got like these um, oriental kimono style dresses. My mama come up in there. She had on um, kimono style dress and the split of the dress, it wasn't like a, a traditional kimono style dress. It was like a hoish kimono style dress. My mama coming up in there thick as thieves. Big old behind split up the side of her freaking uh, hip. Well, you can see her hip and some of that pong back there. She in front of not just me, but my father, my brother, my sisters, as well as most of the people on my dad's side of the family are Christians. Oh, hell no! My grandmother's a minister. Oh, uh, you know how you know how your mothers get. I can't stand. I can't stand seeing my mom interact with men. I just can't because she just gets stupid. She gets so stupid. Like, oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. You look dumb. Cause it's fake. I don't like. I, I I've had a. I never got along with fake people. This is why me and my mama don't get along mm. because. My aunt's a baker and I asked her to bake me a strawberry cake because this was minimum. Everyone was paying for their own food. It wasn't like it was catered or anything. You come and you pay for your own food. I don't know who you think is finna cater to you, but you ain't finna to come eating for free. And I think that's why most of my freaking friends didn't come. Everybody was singing happy birthday and everything like this. Comes to the point where um start opening up presents. And I hate opening up presents because I don't know if it's all black mothers, but black moms, especially when they know you getting money, they say they're gonna put it in your bank. Why the fuck you lying? I ain't seen none of that money yet. I'm opening up cards, I'm opening up cards. She's still trying to flirt with my dad, and my dad is just like, Bruh. Um, I'm opening up cards. Everyone, you know, is just looking at me. I'm reading it. I'm trying not to just go ahead and take the money out because that's all I, I don't even care about the cards. You give me the money hand. Every time I open up the card, my mama's sitting up there saying, Damn. So, what you get in that card? And I look at her. Like a bill? Open up the next card. What you get in that card? A bill? What you get in that card? A bill. Okay, well, I'm gonna need you to pay for this water bill. I'm gonna need you to pay your cell phone bill. I'm gonna... Really, nigga? What? You don't even pay for my, my... My dad pays for my cell phone. What are you talking about? Because you act like you don't want me to speak to my dad on your house mm -hmm. phone. My family knows how my mother is when it comes to money because they always tell me, when you get home, you hide this money from your mama because they already know she's gonna try to take it. Cause my mom was money hungry. That's probably why she in the predicament she in now. Mm -hmm. I opened up all my cards. I had at least about six hundred dollars. Before we get home and everything, my mama had been complaining and b i t c h n and all that type of stuff. When we get home, you gonna give me that money and I'ma put it in the bank and. Why the fuck you lying? We get home and everything, and I had this friend that lived next door. And Mimi would come over and we would hang out and everything like this. But so Mimi was over that night. Tell her everything that happened. She was just like, Your mama crazy. Really, nigga? My mama calls me downstairs because we had I, my room was the only room that was upstairs. I was I'm I'm very creative. I was doing my own toes, I was doing my own fingernails, I was doing my own pedicures, French tip was all I wore. Like, baby, come down here and do my toes. I told you that you was gonna do my toes when you got here. I'm doing her toes and everything. 
and she she just started picking at me and picking at me and she was just like, like I told you he was gonna give me that money where that money at go get that money I told you he was gonna give it to me when I got home you sitting up here you want to play on the computer and you want to talk to little boys so I'm a computer head okay I'm a computer freak I love computers I'm always on a computer that's exactly why I got my own Mac you know I'm a I'm I've always been that type of person to always constantly be on social media and at the time it was Bebo and MySpace that was like really popping back then so she was just it's like you're such a computer hoe and you computer this and you computer this and you're a computer school you know just real mean and hurtful stuff stuff that a mother should not say to her child and I'm sitting up here crying because the shit that she's oops I mean, curse the Lord, forgive me. The crap that she's saying is really hurtful. And I don't resent my mother anymore because I know she just don't know no better and she crazy anything. The way she talked to people is just not right. And that's one of the reasons why me and her don't get along because I'm grown. You're not going to tell me what I'm not going to do. So um, you can exit out. You can exit out the door. So me and my mom have gotten into plenty of fights because now that I'm grown, I'm not intimidated by her anymore and I see through her BS and I call her out on her BS because nobody else is going to call her on her BS and I know a lot of people be like well you should never backlash your mom no sweetheart because what my mom did teach me she did teach me right is right and wrong is wrong so guess what when you wrong I'm going to let you know that you wrong. Like I'm going to go live with my daddy I'm tired of this I can't take this anymore you are like and I wasn't cursing at her anymore but I was just talking out of a hurt. A hurt place like I was really hurt like you're hurting me like I'm your backbone I've I've been here for you I've been here for you when all the men left I've been here for you when when Sydney left I've been here for you and you're treating me like this like that's not fair I went upstairs and I got half of the money she didn't know exactly how much I got but she knew that I only brought down a certain amount and she was just like, that's not all the money. I told you to go get all that money. So she charges up the steps. And she just completely flips out in my room. She threw my boom box on the freaking floor. Or almost broke that. Throwing my TV off the dresser. Flipped my mattress off the freaking bed. Taking all my clothes out of my clothes. Snatching drawers out of my dresser drawers and stuff like that. It's just completely destroying my whole room. And Mimi is just down the steps like... Oh, no. It's been crazy. She throwing everything down the steps, hitting, almost hitting me with stuff. Where that money at? I told you to give me that money. I told you to do this and I told you to do that. And when she flipped over my mattress, she saw an object. She saw an object. You know, I was still a virgin, but you know, I had done kind of made my own little deal though. Yeah. That's I think that's what you call it. I think I actually popped my own cherry. Really, nigga? But that's another story. So, um, you know, I'm going to put the poll up here if you guys want to know that story. Because that's a whole nother story. So, she was like, what the fuck is this? And she touched it. Bruh. She, she shouldn't have did that. But anyway. Who, what the fuck is this? She knew what the hell it was. Because she, she was a nasty. She was a hoe. Her damn it's okay experimenting with yourself. It ain't okay when you want to experiment with other men's and other women's husbands. No, I digress. I would just like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't fuck you lying. I was a bad liar. And my room was completely destroyed. After she came back downstairs, she was like, I want this clipped up in 20 minutes. Bitch, where? What? I'm cleaning all this up in 20 minutes. You just don't completely almost, you just don't do my goddamn mattress down the steps. I'm gonna clean this up in 20 minutes, woman. Then I went back down the steps, stopped crying and everything. And while I was doing her toes, I'm still kind of like, my, my hands are shaking because I, this is why I have bad anxiety problems, you guys. Like, a lot of people just don't understand. But this is the first story that I ever, that I tell them, tell a dude about because they need to know as to why I'm the way I am. I don't blame my mom for the way I am. I actually sometimes thank her for the way I am because I, you know, she does have some really good value points. She, she, she means good. She has a good heart. But she just doesn't portray it that way, if you get what I'm saying. I don't know how to really explain it. She's crazy. I'm, my anxiety is like really bad right now, and I'm trying to do her toes, and she was like, You better not f on my toes either. You better not f on my toes. Is it just my mama, or is it every other mother too? But they go back nut crazy on a freaking Sunday. It's like the inner demon comes out on a Sunday. Like, my mom 
had this thing where she always bitched and complained on a freaking Sunday. We took our butts to church, but she was just mean. She was at her meanest on a freaking Sunday. I'm not going to church tomorrow. I'm not going to church tomorrow. I told her just like that, I'm not going to church tomorrow. She was like, well, you gonna get the fuck up out of my house? Yeah, Christmas on a Sunday. Mm, okay. So I had on already packed up my stuff. My aunt, thank God, she lived right up the street. So I walked up the street to my aunt's house. I told her everything that happened, and my aunt was just like, "Really, nigga?" I had already called my dad and told him, and he was like, "Okay, I'm gonna be on my way to come over there and get you." Cause my mom locked her door, so I had a key. I had the key, but I stuffed it in my in my pants, so she couldn't you know take the key from me from getting back in the house to get my stuff because i wasn't gonna tell her i wasn't telling her that i was leaving because by the time she got back from church my stuff was gonna be gone that's how you do when it comes to abusive situation you don't tell them that you're gonna leave you just do it i got whoopings for everybody shoot i got my stuff went back up to my aunt's house waited till my dad got there dad got there him and my aunt talked or whatever and he was like this don't make no sense she acting like this and she treating this girl like this this don't make no dang no sense you see why you see why the first one left you see why the middle child left i went to stay with my dad and um i didn't hear from my mom ever i didn't not ever i'm not gonna say ever i didn't hear from my mom for a whole year and i was just i just like i don't give i don't care i don't care you know i really don't care like I could care less if I ever speak to her ever again because once you cross me, that's it. But again, that's my mom. So of course, there was plenty of other times where she crossed me. But February was the last time that she ever crossed me. This is why I don't speak to her now. But like I said, make sure you interact with them polls if you want to see, if you want to hear this, hear that story time. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you guys in my next story time. Bye.